Hey guys, in today's video, we're checking out a cheap plug and play wireless by Guitaria, I believe is how you pronounce that. So in my opinion, if you're gonna get one of these plug and play wireless that transmit on 2.4 gigahertz, I would recommend this system or possibly the Amun system. It seems to be almost the exact same. And I'm gonna explain why in a little bit. So just doing an unboxing, it's a very simple design. You open it up, you've got a user's manual about how to use it. The gray one's your receiver, the black one's your transmitter. It's cool that they have them color coded so you don't have to look on here to say, oh, this is the transmitter, this is the receiver. I like that they do that. Turn it on on the side. They're both green, that means they're paired. Plug this into your amp or your interface or your first pedal. Plug this into your guitar and you're ready to go. Very, very simple. I've done other videos on these types of units before. And it also comes with a dual micro USB charging cable in order to charge these. So now for a tone test, just so you can see how they sound. This is how it sounds when I've plugged in just using a cable. This is how it sounds when I'm plugged in using the Guitaria wireless system. If you can hear a tone loss, you have better ears than I do. To me, if there is any tone loss, it's not noticeable and it doesn't bother me. So just some of the important specs on this. This is listed at the latency is less than 12 milliseconds, but you can't really hear above 20 milliseconds. If you're really sensitive to it, maybe it'll bother you, but it doesn't bother me. The frequency response is from 20 to 20 kilohertz. So that's great. And it says the transmission range is about 100 feet. I highly doubt, you know, you're most likely not going to go more than 100 feet if you're using this system because it is a $40 system. That is how much the system costs $40. I actually got it on sale for $31. So keep an eye out on Amazon because it goes on sale quite often. This one is also very similar, almost the exact same as this Amun one. And I actually did a video on the different Amun one and this one. These transmit on 5.8, which I'll get to a little bit later in the video. But if you want to watch my videos on the Amun system, I'll post a link up above and down below so you can check those out. So you're going to find a ton of different systems looking on Amazon for about the same price. You have other ones like the X5, which are way more expensive, and also this Boss one that is even more expensive than that. So my recommendation, why do I recommend that you get this $40 one as opposed to some of the other ones. The reason why is because of the 2.4 gigahertz frequency. If you've seen my other videos, you can skip this part of the video because you've already seen me discuss this frequency. The problem with the 2.4 gigahertz frequency is that it transmits on the same frequency as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and even things like microwaves, garage door openers and stuff like that. So it's going to be pretty unpredictable on if it's going to work or not. In my experience using these systems, and I've used the first one that I ever got was the X5. And the other one that I got was this Boss WL20. But the thing is, is that the 2.4 gigahertz frequency is just so unpredictable. I've played places where it's been fine, and then two weeks later, I've had problems with the, with the frequency. 2.4 gigahertz to me works about 85% of the time. For a wireless system that was $40, or in my case, $30, that's completely reasonable to expect a system to work about 85% of the time. That 15% that time that it fails, you know, that's not the end of the world. I spent, I lost $30 on this. So systems like the X5 one is currently listed at $150. For how often it doesn't work, that is not worth the price point. The Boss WL20 is the best one out of all of them. It's the best built. It has the longest battery life. Um, it's very soft. It feels solid. These do feel a lot more cheap. For $30 to $40, it's not, again, it's not the end of the world that they feel so cheap. This one is the best built. It even has this really cool little nub right here where when you plug in your guitar, it pushes in on that. And then as you pull this off of your guitar, it releases this and it actually mutes the sound so you don't get a loud popping noise. It's just really well built. It's really clever. You put them together like this and it actually scans for the best frequency where it, it's just really well built. The thing that's not worth it, because these are $200. I, I got them when they were about 160 when they first came out. This is a much better unit, but because of the unpredictability of 2.4 gigahertz, I would recommend just spending the 30 or $40 on anything 2.4 gigahertz. Like I said, the Guitaria has one and Amun has another one. They're both gonna be about the exact same thing. 
A moon also has one that transmits on 5.8 gigahertz, which is awesome. That's a different frequency. This system is about $65. And again, I did a whole nother video series on this. So while systems like this Boss one, and I love Boss and Roland products. I use multiple, multiple of their products. If this was $100, I would say it's probably worth it because this one works about 90, 95% of the time, whereas these other 2.4 gigahertz ones work just a little bit less in my experience. But to me, if you're going to go with a 2.4 gigahertz, you should only spend $40 on it. I think that's completely fair. The other thing that you can do, and this is kind of silly, but you can get this system for $40 and you can get this system for $60, $65. And so for $100, you have two different wireless systems on two different frequencies. So if you go to a venue and you're having problems with this system, you could switch over to the one that's on 5.8 or vice versa. I can't wait for the day where they actually have these that transmit in the 500 megahertz range. I did a review on one. There's one that I found and it was actually awful. If you want to watch that video, the tone quality was so bad. I can't recommend that one. So someday they're going to be able to upgrade these and to be in like the 500 megahertz frequency, which is what my nice Sennheiser, my Sure Wireless, all those transmit in. And I don't think I've ever had those ever fail on me before. So again, to summarize, if you're going to get anything into 2.4 gigahertz go for one of these $40 systems and watch for the sales where they go on for $30 so I've used the Guitario one I haven't used the Amun specific one that's on 2.4 gigahertz I've used the ones that are on 5.8 and they work well so I know that they make a good product you're going to find all sorts of other knockoffs on Amazon all of them are basically the same as of recording this video the 2.4 gigahertz ones are about $40 sometimes they go on sale for 30 and then the 5.8 gigahertz ones are about 65 I've seen them go on sale for as low as about 55 ish so that's my two cents if you are interested in getting a much more reliable system i would recommend the sennheisers or the sure models the sure pgx series i used for years without any problems maybe i'll do a video on that here in the future i did do a video on my favorite sennheiser system that has never failed me those are going to cost you a little bit more so the sennheisers are about 600 dollars up to 800 dollars, and the sure the sure pgx is only about 300 to 350 and you can get used ones as well for even cheaper so to sum it up, this Boss one is the best 2.4 gigahertz one. However, for $200, I cannot recommend it because of the frequency that it transmits on. If you're going to go for 2.4 gigahertz, you might as well only spend $40, have a cable as a backup, or buy another one that's on 5.8 in case 2.4 isn't working where you're playing. So links are in the description down below if you're interested in purchasing these items. They are Amazon affiliate links, so it does help out my channel. It's no extra cost to you, but if you use my link, I do get a small commission on it, so I would appreciate that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That also helps out my channel. Even if you don't subscribe, if you found this video helpful, hitting a like will help out my channel and help it reach more people. Check out some of my other videos that I've done on multiple different wireless systems. Check out my other playlist on cool and cheap music gear. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.